well, how old do you want me to be? <laughs> Will you just answer the question? Well, yes, I could, but I just want you to know, I can play at any age you want. 16, 30. You know, one time in school, I played a 78-year-old dramatic woman. There was a 79-year-old dramatic woman in the audience who said it was very convincing. But I'm not looking for a 78-year-old dramatic woman. I'm looking for a 22-year-old. Now, how old are you? 22. <laughs> really, I would have guessed 27 or 28. I have a bad head cold. It makes me look older. You know, last year when I had it one for the doctor said I looked 39. I promise I can look 22 when you need it. Do you have a temperature now? Yes. 103. Good God, what are you doing walking around in the dead of winter with 103 temperature? Go home and go to bed. You can come back another No! No, please! I waited six months for this audition! I waited three months to get on the six-month waiting list. If I have to go back on the waiting list, I'll have to wait for another six months! Really? I'm feeling much better now. I think I might be down to 101. All right, we've had enough of your medical history. What experience have you had? At what? Well, I don't know. Maybe the thing we're discussing. Acting. You mean on stage? That's as good a place as it's <laughs> Well, I studied three years under Madame Zawarska. In Moscow? No. In my high school. <laughs> in Odessa. But she was a very good actress herself. In Moscow? No. In Odessa. So you are strictly speaking an amateur? Yes. In Moscow, in Odessa, I'm a professional. Yes, but I'm looking for a professional from Moscow. Come back when you meet the requirements. Please, I've traveled four days to get here. Won't you just hear me read? I find this extremely dangerous. Wait, even if you don't hire me, just to read for you would be an experience I would treasure for the rest of my life. If I may be so bold, I think you are one of the greatest living authors in all of Russia. Well, I've read everything you've ever written. And out of everything you've read, what was your favorite? Um, my very favorite. Yep. Tolstoy's War and Peace. I didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But you asked what my favorite was. Well, you're very honest, aren't you? What are you going to read for us today? I would like to read for my three sisters. Which sister? All three, if you have time. Good God, you might as well read the whole play. Oh my God, thank you, I know the entire thing! <laughs> Act one, a midday afternoon in the Pavron's house. I think that's okay. <laughs> How about an excerpt? That'll be nice. Um, can I do the last one of the play? Yes, that won't waste too much of my time. <laughs> Whenever I'm ready, right? Because you know I've been ready for six months. Not trying to say much. I waited to get on the six-month waiting list again. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Can you please say, to Rob Rob Lumpier sit on the curb on A? Yes. <laughs> and Masha says, listen to that music. They're leaving us. One has left already. We are left alone to begin our lives again. And Irina says, there will come a time when everyone will know what all this is for. All this pain, all this suffering. Tomorrow I will go to the school. 